Well, hello everyone. I hope that your day is going absolutely amazing whenever this video finds you. If you are new here, hi, hello, my name is Alyssa. It is so nice to meet you. I hope that you'll consider subscribing. If you are not new here, then I'm glad that you're back and planning with me today because we are using a stunning kit from The Giving Girl. This kit is called Rainy Day Blooms. It is one of her recent releases and I actually picked this up when she did her last sale. And I also have another another order coming from her and I'm incredibly excited. I love this kit, it is perfect for this week. It was a rainy day week, but it's starting to get a little warmer with the sun peeking through. It is absolutely perfect. It honestly, I, I love this kit. I love how it turns out and I'm so excited for you to actually see it when it's done and it witness all of the beautiful rose gold glory that it is. So this week is kind of starting into my new routine. I was back to work this week. I was, it was kind of my week off between my diploma and my final year of my BA. So it was a kind of off week, but also not just starting to get back into the swing of things. As of the beginning of the week, everyone was out of isolation, which is a kind of nice to be honest. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna lay down all of the goods and once I am done laying them down and we can go through the week, I will be back, so enjoy. Alright, so my boxes are down and I have started my sidebar. So what is going on? Um, I'm about to place down some of the headers. The headers I use are from Simply Beautiful Plants and CD stickers along with headers from the kit. I like to mix and match them. And then this cute little thing that I'm popping down is my habit tracker from the kit itself along with some really pretty botanicals from um, Letters to Apollo. I also have some from Christine's Studio that I use in this kit as well as, I have one more set, Simply Beautiful Plants, I believe. Oh, and Honey Inked. I have a mix of like all four of them going on in there right now. So at least in the whole spread, you'll see throughout this spread. Um, so I'm just popping down some little extra bling and then on top of my full box on the sidebar, I have a, a lace divider from Honey Inked and I absolutely Love it, it looks super cute. Some of you guys had asked if I'll be putting down the months of the month that I plan. I will be, I have some coming, I have abbreviated ones coming from Sadie's stickers, so I'm excited to start incorporating those. And um, I'm just kind of popping down some little extras. By the way, that lace thing down on the blue half box 
is from Honey Inked and so are, oh no, I don't put those down quite yet. You'll see in a second. <laughs> these, by the way, these little dividers are from Sadie Stickers. I use them in a whole bunch of my spreads as like little dividers or little toppers to my full boxes or little bottomers to my full boxes. Just little somethings. It's bling. It's paper bling. <laughs> I love them. They're foil. They're beautiful. So, and these are from Simply Beautiful Plants as well. These cute little um, headers. I have had them for a long time. I have been hoarding them. As you can see, I'm slowly running out. It. I use them very sparingly. So, Amy, if you're hearing this, <laughs> I love these very much. <laughs> um, I love my little scalloped and lace things. So, I'm pretty basic like that I guess a little basic over here um, and then another cute little divider from honey inked as well so um, I do have some PR codes for you all my PR cards are codes are gonna be down in the description box below so far I have a PR code for simply beautiful plans Alyssa gets you 15% off your entire order and then Look how cute these are, these little like lace dividers here. And I'm actually popping one under a quarter box just to give it a little bit of an extra something. And yeah, um, another, I have, I have some I can't quite tell you yet. So I'm gonna hang on to those. <laughs> so if you listen into some upcoming videos, I have another shop that I will announce that I PR for as soon as that shop is ready. And I'm excited for that, but all my PR codes are down below. And I'll tell you as I go through what shops I PR for as well. That way you can kind of grab them and go. I will tell you that this is going up on Saturday and the Made in Canada collab sale has started the day this video goes out. So the first full weekend of May, so the weekend of the 8th. So make sure you check them out. Paper Bits, Simply Beautiful Plants at Christine's Paper Studio are all in that. Uh, speaking of shops I PR for, um, that little tiny half, I guess you can call it botanical, under the Giving Girl Circle with a bow is from the Pretty Pink Co. I also PR for her. Alyssa15 gets you 15% off your entire order. And then this little edit icon is from Dash of Sun. I PR for her as well. And Alyssa 10 gets you 10% off your entire order, plus my freebie. You can always mention my name in her, uh, in, my, in the order as well to get my freebie if you grab from her during a sale. Uh, these cute little half botanicals are from Honey Inks. I take zero credit for this, just letting you know. Uh, Rachel from Gathered Plans has done this in a few of her spreads already, and it looked beautiful. And I realized the other day that I ordered them without even like truly realizing it. And I was like, I'm gonna give this a try and see how it is, and I love it. So thank you, Rachel. You are an inspiring human, and you're really, really sweet. <laughs> I hope this gets to you. <laughs> All right, so this little squiggle here is from Alyssa Craft Shop, and I love it. And the edit haul script is from Letters to Apollo as well. So I love her scripts, they're actually super great. I use quite a few in a lot of her botanicals and some of her half floral scallops too in this spread so keep an eye out this girl with the box is from paper bits another shop that i pr for Alyssa 15 gets you 15 percent off her entire order and she is in the made in canada collab sale so check her out um i what did i do on this day so on this day <laughs> um, my grades were finalized which is amazing i got a perfect 4.0 in my final semester of my diploma which makes my entire year a 3.98 3.99 gpa which is awesome since 4.0 is the highest you can go i did graduate with honors and i'm really excited <laughs> um and i am set up i'm really excited because i'm set up for a small scholarship award from the university that I'm doing my BA at and I'm up for a couple of awards I believe at school I'll know in a couple of days so yeah very excited every little bit kind of helps right I worked really hard so I'm excited for my grades and I'm very very proud so yeah um those were finalized I filmed the second half of my haul that just went up this past Tuesday and then I made a David's tea order one of my planner friends Kayla she gifted me a David's tea gift card so um I was a little get well and I helped her edit uh, some of her videos as well so it was super sweet of her um, and my taste is slowly, slowly coming back. So I made an order of some of my favorites and that order was made that day. Uh, the little 
uh, lace divider, floral lace divider is from Honey Inked and the botanical is from Letters to Apollo. Again, I used the Letters to Apollo edit haul script and that was just to mark off that I was putting my halt together and finished off editing it. And then to mark that off, I used a Paper Bits Girl with her laptop, which is probably one of my most used icons from her. I love it, it's super sweet. And yeah, so that was my Monday. And then on Tuesday, I made a natural market order and the little circular scallop is from Dash of Sun behind the hanging heart. And the floral botanical is from Letters to Apollo. I have a mix of Christine's Paper Studio botanicals in here and Letters to Apollo. And then the girl with the box again is from uh, Paper Bits. And then a little floral cluster is from Honey Inked. I love it. And then another little lace divider. <laughs> You're gonna see a lot of lace dividers. I won't point them all out. They're from, the generally from Honey Inked for the most part. I think for actually all of it. Yeah, it's from Honey Inked. So I won't keep repeating myself. And then I have a really pretty little mandala under a half box, under a quarter box. And that was to mark off that my placement came and visited me. They actually asked me to come on board as a volunteer uh, like a volunteer programmer. So to pick up the program that I was running already and I'm very excited for that. They were super sweet. They brought me a gift card to Indigo, which I actually bought a cookbook with and then a little plant that I planted and it is on my windowsill. So they were very, very sweet. I actually never met them in person. It was the first time. So it was really lovely. And then the mandala is from Simply Beautiful Plants. I also scheduled my videos that night. Um, my plan with me, I was scheduling and all of the upcoming videos that I had to go up was being scheduled. And I used a little computer from Paper Bits and then the schedule video script that I have. It's a custom script from Simply Beautiful Plants. And she does custom scripts every so often. So if you are buying from the sale, definitely check it out if you're looking for a custom script because uh, she does put them up every so often and especially during sales so yeah I love my custom scripts I use them a ton because they're custom and they're like necessary obviously <laughs> so as I lay it down off screen and you can't see it Alyssa push your paper up um, there you go oh I also use it this. this is from Artbox stickers she's no longer open um, look how cute it is <laughs> and that was just to mark off that my birthday is in two weeks um, as of this video coming out my birthday is on Tuesday so it is super coming up um, it's May 11th oh there's a little laptop I was ahead of myself <laughs> um, this is also the week my first week back to work my mom came out of isolation at, on Monday morning and I was officially back to work as of Wednesday these work scripts are from Dash of Sun I already have a pile for a haul to show you and it is a mix of like I have Dash of Sun in there I have a lot so I just did put up a haul video for April I'm gonna have another mini haul coming up in probably about a week or two so keep your eyes peeled for that I hadn't planned one for another couple weeks but my pile is already huge so I think I'm good for kids for a while <laughs> now that I think about it yikes um, but you know I love them so it make me happy um, on the Wednesday here I marked down that I went to work I used botanicals again from letters to Apollo a Christine's paper co a squiggle from Melissa craft shop the mandala is from Christine studio and then I have another the little floral wildflower scallop mandala is from letters to Apollo under the hanging square and that was to mark off that because I worked had a half day at work that day I went grocery shopping with my mom downtown, had to pick up a couple stuff, had to get some stuff done. And then uh, I used a little Paper Bits Co. Shopping Girl for that. I love how it turned out. It's so pretty. I actually really like how this turned out. This little like half mandala things. Um, again, take zero credit for that. I saw someone else do it, I swear. Um, I just can't remember who, so not my thing. Uh, another little lace and then I have a edit icon from Dash of Sun just to mark off that I was editing my plan with me that day and getting it ready to uh, go up or yeah getting it ready to go up. I believe that's what I did that day and then at the bottom um, I'm just writing down that my indigo order went up and I picked up um, a book on hormone health uh, for a plant-based diet because I do eat plant-based and then I picked up Simply Delicious vegan cookbook as well. I have a thing. I collect cookbooks. Let me know what you collect down in the comments below because I collect cookbooks, specifically vegan cookbooks. Even when I was a vegetarian, I have an abundance 
of vegan cookbooks. I could not tell you why, but now I know why, but I just got a lot of cookbooks, so I'm gonna have to dwindle down eventually, but not right now. Um, so I am just making another little scallop kind of cluster. Um, I'm using half the vine scallops from Panda Bird and the other half is from Letters to Apollo. Again, the windflowers again, and then some more botanicals from Letters to Apollo and Christine's. And this is to mark off that my David's tea order arrived. You'll see it in just a second. Um, I was very excited because I got some really good teas in there that I hadn't tried before that are kind of slowly becoming favorites for me. And then I used, again, that little paper bits package girl. I know it's for happy mail, but it's happy mail to me when you're a tea drinker. Um, up here, I am just marking off that I worked. I worked nine to five this day, and I'm using a little floral cluster from Honey Inked under the work script from Dash of Sun Designs, and then these really pretty hanging lights from Sadie Stickers. Like, I don't have the most <laughs> exciting <laughs> week, um, but there isn't much to do right now besides schoolwork, work, and then like the random like shopping trips. So I'm trying to keep you interested in these really pretty stickers. <laughs> I will say I love how this entire entire thing show like turned out it's i'm so happy with it and it this kit is beautiful so if you haven't already check out giving girl um she is lovely i l adore jennifer to bits and i love it <laughs> all right so i'm just yeah marking down that my david's tea order came in and yeah, on Friday I worked nine to five. I did work six days in a row, myself and another coworker who kind of were both part-time. Uh, we were covering for our full-timer. She had some stuff going on with family. So we just did that. Um, I'm popping this really pretty lace mandala from Bloom Paper Studio, the freebie that came with my order. You'll see it in the hall. If you actually go to the hall, you'll see um, the whole like haul of it. And that was just to mark off that I had a faux dinner. We often on Friday evenings order from a local restaurant. It is really hard for them here right now because we've been in this extended lockdown. We've pretty much been in lockdown here since um, our first lockdown, I wanna say started in November. I was working for Sage at the time and we had like a week or two where we weren't in full lockdown, but we were in sort of lockdown and then we went back into another full lockdown. So um, they haven't been really able to have anyone eat for a long time. And so we order and we try to support local business. I often get pho because I do really good vegan gluten-free pho. My family really likes ramen on Friday nights. So it's kind of a nice little balance. <laughs> so I ordered pho that night and I use a little paper bits faux bowl for that um, and then Friday I marked off that I went to work with the same script from Dash of Sun and then an icon from Crafts by Towie. By the way the date dots I just realized that I had put them down are from Sadie stickers and they were from a grab bag that I got a while ago and they actually really fit this entire kit so nicely um, and the mandala there is from Christine's no it's from Simply Beautiful Plants yeah it's from Simply Beautiful Plans. And this is just to mark off that I put in a giving girl order with a planner friend of, and myself. And I actually ordered her really cute springy dog kit. And we're saving, I'm saving it for when we decide to get our dog. Um, we're waiting until we move into the new place. I had quite a few people ask, when will we be adopting? Do we know what we're gonna adopt for a while? And I'm kind of still on the fence about it. Uh, we're talking about a corgi. But as someone who has two rescues, I would love to rescue a dog. I think it's a really good way to honor my dogs, my family dogs, because they're both rescues. Um, both were taken, one was taken from not a great situation, and then the other one we rescued as a puppy. It was from, I believe it was from a, I don't remember, it's been almost 18 years, he was from a, a puppy mill that was closing down. So we got him from that, and uh, yeah. So I think we're gonna end up and the reason we're not getting it before we move is because I have two dogs here. One is 18 and one is eight. And I think having a dog here for a couple months, getting used to the dogs, getting used to the atmosphere and then ripping it away and putting it in a place where just my like fiance and I, it might be a little too hard. So I think we're gonna introduce it to the home, introduce it to its home and then bring it over so it can meet its like cousins and stuff. So. I thought it would be, we think it's gonna be just a better idea to do it that way, that way we can settle together. Um, 
but yeah, I'll let you know when that happens. I will definitely, but that kit will be what we use the week that we adopt. <laughs> it's also kind of nice, um, but a lot of the adoption agencies and shelters here are empty. It, there's a really long wait list for rescues. And so that's kind of exciting because it means that a lot of these dogs are in forever homes, which makes me happy. So yeah, um, back to what I'm doing. <laughs> um, the squiggle there is from Melissa Craft Shop and then the botanical behind the little blue quarter box is from Letters to Apollo. This was to mark off that we registered Nathan for his first vaccine. As of today, he's actually had it. So he's had his first vaccine. He was a little bear with heart eyes from Paper Bits and a little floral cluster from Honey Inked. And then on fr uh, Saturday, um, I worked again. <laughs> um, that mandala is from Honey Inked, and then the work script is from Dash of Sun. My video also went live that day, so I use a, a Clever Girl Crafts bow flag under the Giving Girl flag and a really cute Crafts by Towie um, icon, and then a squiggle from Honey Inked as well. And then I also marked off that that was a day that I washed my hair. And for that, I used a script from Letters to Apollo. Um, I also used with it a really cute icon from Dash of Sun Design, which is going to be in a upcoming, the little upcoming small haul. I'm actually really excited for you guys to see that. Um, under that, I have a little lace from Honey Inked. By the way, if you're hearing any whirring sounds, my room is on top of the garage. So anytime the garage door opens, that's what you're gonna hear. Um, and then I used a botanical from Christine's paper studio. Yep. And then a productive AF script from Letters to Apollo that I got from a $2 Tuesday. I actually bought like three of each script because they were like busy AF, productive AF, anxious AF. They were perfect. And then I used that with a paper bits laundry icon, which is super cute just to mark off that I did some stuff, including laundry that day. Um, I also worked again on the Sunday. <laughs> so Sunday, here we come. And I use a peony half scallop from Letters to Apollo with the Christine's Paper Studio floral and then a heart cluster from Honey Inked and then the work icon that or work script and then that little floral with the bow, the floral, not the floral, the little circle with the bow is from Pretty Pink Co. I am down to my last couple of these and I've been like slowly using them because I love them. And then under that, I have a cute little dotted heart divider from Letters to Apollo that I initially bought for Valentine's Day, but I've actually been utilizing it beyond that. And I had every intention to, cause they're super versatile. I have a whole bunch of different designs. They're in a, my February haul, if you wanna go back and see that. And I also have a divider from Honey Inks and then that little icon is from Dash of Sun there. And that is just to kind of mark off that I folded laundry. And then that art box sticker script is from, is for nine days until my birthday. I also marked off that I had a smoothie morning on Thursday and I'm just kind of marking off my little extra things. Also, by the way, shows that I am watching before I go. Um, I just finished Jenny and Georgia, so let me know if you've watched that and how you like it. I've also watched The Circle, and I watched another one that I can't remember. But let me know what you're watching right now because I'm looking for some new shows. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna let you enjoy the rest of this writing, filling in, because I do end up kind of filling in these little extra bits here and there. And I will see you on Tuesday for my next video. Have a really nice one, guys. Stay safe, bye. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, bye guys.